From the digital fashion campaigns of Puma and Balenciaga, to virtual sneakers and Roblox apparel from Gucci, brands are betting big that the future of fashion is digital. And that trend towards digital fashion is playing out in China on Xiaohongshu, where cutting-edge designers and fashion labels are reshaping the ways that we interact with the clothes that we wear. At the forefront of the digital fashion movement is Percy Lau, a designer eyewear and accessories label that recently launched the new garden of earthly delights, the brand's first virtual collection. I think the, the advantages of digital fashion is we don't need to consider all the physical conditions, for example, like the weight, how the model wear it. Too many physical things limit the boundaries. Like I think digital is a new material for me to create things. For digital art and fashion studio extended identity, it was the limitations of the COVID-19 pandemic that pushed them to innovate new ways to present their work. It's been quite challenging for like emerging talented designers mm -hmm. to show off their design to like the public because they lose the opportunity of having fashion show during fashion weeks. But we can do something interesting and interactive for our consumers by having digital platform and digitalizing their design and also environments to show their design like in a creative way. And just who are the consumers who are buying and wearing these digital fashion products? This is Kira, a fashion influencer on Xiaohongshu, who models outfits that are both physical and digital. While the digital fashion movement is still mostly led by human influencers, increasingly it's virtual idols who are the ones modeling the clothes and inking endorsement deals with big brands. This is Ayai, one of China's most popular virtual idols with over 120,000 followers on Xiaohongshu and who has worked with the likes of Louis Vuitton and Tiffany & Co. And during last year's Singles Day, she hosted Tmall's Double Eleven Metaverse Art Exhibition where she endorsed a range of products including this limited edition Burberry scarf and NFT deer collectible which sold out on its first day of listing. Some of the traditional fashion brands are scared of like digital fashion. You don't need to be scared about it. Actually, digital fashion is coming here to add more power and innovation aesthetic for the traditional fashion industry. For the brands, we are all trying something new. We never know it's going to be the major market or maybe it will die in two years. We never know about it. The thing is, we try new things. Brands are always need to go further than the customer. 